Hi guys, I am the fox with the chip deer, and I just want to talk about Tonka Saw and all the shit that happened. Tonka Saw is the prime example of an internet tough guy. As Mr. Medica puts it, all talk, no walk. Now, when I first heard about the whole situation, I was really pissed the hell off. Tonka Saw has been talking a lot of shit, and he's been telling other people how badly he's gonna kick their ass for between six to eight years. And the funniest part of it is that nobody truly called him out for being the pussy or for being the internet tough guy he is. How all of this started is when Andy Worski stood up to Tonka's challenge and wanted to fight Tonka. Everybody's attention was grabbed, and during which there have been rumors spreading around that Tonka is a complete fraud, that he's in a wheelchair, and that he's absolutely harmless, even though he portrays himself as this former professional wrestler that knows how to beat somebody the fuck up. An MMA match was set up in Knoxville, Tennessee for January 19th, 2019. Then, all of a sudden, four days before the event would take place, the fight was canceled without warning because Tonka saw was causing a hell of a lot of trouble with the fight promoter. He didn't sign his real name on the contract. He used a name that wasn't originally his. He didn't even care to apply for any of the licenses he needed to fight. Also, he failed to turn in his blood work on time. Then, to put the cherry on top of this trucking Sunday, he tried changing his legal name. On the week of the fight, while Andy Worski was calling the fight promoter why the fight was canceled, but what all of this proves is that Tonka saw was wasting everybody's time, causing everybody to fuck out. Tonka didn't even care to order a hotel room for the fight. He was doing everything in his power to sabotage the fight, to piss everyone off. Not just Andy Worski, not just the fight promoter, not just failure, not just Mr. Medicare, but every fucking body else. Everybody abandoned Tonka Saw, including AP, or the host of the Blunt Stream. Which, by the way, he lost his shit. He was just as pissed as I would if I paid any amount of money for that event, in which thank fuck I didn't. And Tonka thought the whole time that Andy was gonna back the fuck out. But he didn't. Now, since everybody has been covering it to death, here is my take on it. Which is <clears throat> my rant. Tonka saw. Michael Robbie Pilkington, you ought to be a fucking shamed of yourself. You only prove what a fucking internet tough guy is. And if I was your father, and if I was way fucking stronger than you are, I would have beaten the shit out of you if you made all those claims that you were going to beat the shit out of somebody else on the internet. Maybe if you probably had a father, he would do that to you. There is no fucking way that you would ever come back from all of this. You played your fucking self. Andy Worski was ready for you. He was changing his diet. He was exercising, working his ass off, lifting weights, practicing for the fucking fight. And you took the coward's way out and went AWOL. And you had to spur the fuck out of Andy when he confronted you about stopping the fight. And doing everything in your motherfucking power to stop it. Tonka Saw, get off the internet, kill yourself, and never come back to this god-awful planet ever again. Because you are fucking cancer. You are a fucking coward. You are a pussy. You are a son of a bitch. And I hope to God that this rant crosses the fucking line for you. And I hope that this will be a fucking lesson for everyone who got scammed by you. Okay? That's all I have to say. I'm fucking speechless. I'm a fox without words. I'm the fox with the chip deer, signing the fuck out.